I have Katrin Klingenberg here with Fias. She's the co-founder and the director of Fias. Uh, and we just finished um, with the round three award ceremony for the Buildings of Excellence program uh, that was put on by NYSERDA. It was very exciting to see all these projects. Fias, of course, featured very prominently in many of them. I would just love to hear from you about your kind of perspectives of the BOE program, how, why you think it's important, the relationship with Passfaust, Fias projects. Take it away. We are, as an organization, hugely grateful to NYSERDA as like a really important partner in starting what some might call the Passive House movement, right? Yeah. And um, so the Buildings of Excellence uh, program really is the uh, accumulation of lots of efforts of many stakeholders uh, in this entire process. And if we look at uh, our main motivation, like as FIAS, our mission is making the uh, zero carbon passive building standard mainstream. We've been working on this for 20 years. Um, this is an amazing day. Yeah. This is the third round of incredible projects that we've seen today. Uh, beautiful, uh, healthy, they uh, look fantastic, they're affordable, they address equity, they address like climate, carbon, all of it, right? And um, buildings of excellence, buildings have shown, we, we have the technology, we can do it, so just let's do it and we're there. And this year was there was a real focus on design excellence and there were four blue ribbon winners for design excellence that, that kicked off the award ceremony and I, it's really cool to see more and more examples of high performance buildings that, that also are beautiful and make people happy. Yes. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. And what, what we're also seeing, so that hasn't happened in the rounds before, it's like entire uh, developments of multiple buildings. Right. Uh, we've also seen one project, market rate, that is committing to going full to like all the way to zero. That yeah. really excites me because that's that's really the next step. That's what we have to get to. Um, and yeah, so the finish line is starting to be in sight. And, uh, for those of us who are concerned with climate, uh, yesterday might have been a little bit of a depressing day <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because yeah. the IPCC came out yet again with another uh, a dire warning and not much new science because the science is clear. Um, but on the positive side of things, they said like we're out of the red zone, so... <laughs> right, right, and right, there's, there's progress. There's, yeah, there's we'll celebrate progress. That. Yeah, and yeah. in the building uh, sector, you guys, like everybody, the architects, stakeholders, uh, standard setters, we've, we've worked so hard to get here. And now, like, the city, like, uh, I don't know, the, maybe the best city on the planet, I yeah, don't know, for me, the place. most exciting, like, yeah. I have plenty of exciting cities, but I have, I have a special connection to New York City because this is where we first came to do training, like Carson's New School, the very first kind of like New York Passive House training in 2009, and, and look so how far cool. we've come. That's so cool. And given that time frame, it's, it's really fantastic. Yeah, and we're in the basement right now. You wouldn't know it, actually, because there's so much natural light in yeah. this space. This is the Center for Architecture, uh, the AIA New York's space. And I think this is an important space for you during that period that you're talking about from 2009 to now. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Like, what is, yeah. what are, you, you, you have some <laughs> memories here, I think. I do. So uh, over the years, there have been like multiple uh, training sessions, of course, also from the local uh, partners in New York City. But uh, so a few times I was invited to speak here, and um, one of the presentations was really meaningful because that was uh, the first time when like principles were applied to larger multifamily buildings. We started talking about envelope construction uh, on larger buildings and detailing, and uh, also it's important to address the architects and to maybe start like we, we as technicians building scientists like we, we talk a lot of tech uh, right. but to make it palatable for the architecture community like let, let's talk about the big picture the bigger meaning and um, like the good things that come through applying tech like now we've learned the lessons we can we can we've learned the notes we can forget them let's let's forget the super insulation talk and the, the ERV talk and triple pane window talk that still scares a couple people but it's already in the mainstream so now we can start talking about the beauty we can talk about the health we can talk about what it does for the climate all the good stuff so